Well, Shalom Aleichem, Be'ezrat Hashem, today we're going to speak, going to talk, another wonderful shiur for the lovely women of Am Yisrael. The Gemara, Rabbeinu is bringing in, um, in Torah 66, in Likutei Moran, a certain story that we all know from Eliyahu Navi and Elisha, his student, Elisha Navi, that Elisha is asking for Eliyahu Navi to have the merit to achieve double amount of spirituality, spiritual success, abilities, than his, than Eliyahu, his rabbi. And he's asking it from his rabbi. So Eliyahu Navi is answering to him, if you gonna see me taken from you, so then you're gonna achieve that ability. You're gonna achieve double amount than I have. And the Gemara is explaining over there that actually Elisha, after that fact, he was praying with more intention than Eliyahu Navi. He was making more miracles than Eliyahu Navi. So we need to understand how actually he achieved what that he achieved from Eliyahu Navi. So Rav Shalom once explained in Shabbos that actually Eliyahu Navi is saying to Elisha, if you would see me taken from you, so then you're going to achieve the double amount of spirituality, the power of prophecy. So what there is in that, if he going to see him or if he will not going to see him, what the effort? We know there is a rule that corresponding to the effort that you put in Avodat Hashem, Corresponding to that, going to be your success, your reward in the Avodat Hashem. So actually, what was Elisha doing by looking at Eliyahu, his rabbi, and see him being taken from him, means going up to heaven in a fire in chariot, wagon, horses made out of fire. How because of that, he achieved that huge reward of become to be double twice as many than Eliyahu Navi. So actually Arav Shalom was explaining that actually the main part of the verse is Tir'eni lukach mi'itcha If you will feel a horrible pain when they're gonna take me from you you're gonna see them taking me from you Tir'eni lukach mi'itcha from you by that you're gonna achieve the double amount means that actually it all depends in the love of the student to his rabbi. And this is something that we all need to work on, to develop a love to our rabbi, to Rabbeinu HaKadosh, to know that Rabbeinu is helping us so much, that Rabbeinu is opening life for us, that Rabbeinu, sweet Rabbi Nachman, is giving to us such an amazing advice and solutions to all of the awkward situations that we have in our lives, to cancel all of the stress and all of anxieties, and is giving to us simple solutions, simple solutions, that with them we have the power to pass life, to overpower on every difficulty, to climb above, above every mountain, and to achieve everything that we need in our lives. Rabbeinu is giving to us simple advice, like the advice of the Bodedut, to talk to Hashem Barach on every difficulty that you have in your life, to share it with Him, like you're talking with your best friend. This is an amazing advice that can save your life. The advice of looking on the good point, on the good side, the positive side, the good things that you've done in your life, and to ignore from the bad things that you have, to try to look for the good points, for your success, for the good things that you've done in your life, and to concentrate in those and to make yourself happy, cheer up yourself, and asking for Hashem Barach for more. This is an amazing advice. The advice of Tikkun Aklali, that Rabbeinu said that on every Avera, on every sin, there is a certain Tikkun, something that you can do to fix it. But the Tikkun Aklali, to read those 10 chapters of Tehillim, they're fixing everything. It's a Tikkun that can fix all kinds of Avonot. So you have Tikkun Aklali, it's a wonderful advice. And there are more and more and more and more advices of Holy Rabbeinu. 
that by those advice we can revive ourselves in the horrible darkness that we're in. There are so many women that cannot find their mate, they cannot get married, they don't know what to do with themselves. They're waiting and waiting and looking and checking and dating and suffering and being insulted so many times. How are they going to revive themselves without that simple advice of Rabenu, The advice of faith to know that Hashem is with you, that you have a certain tikkun, something that you have to go through. And don't think that this is the first time that you're here in this world. You're in a different lifetime. It's the second time that you came or the third or the fifth or who knows how many times you came to this world. And you have to complete a lot of life lifetimes. And you have to go through all of that suffering. And by those suffering you're going to complete your mission in this world. And Borei Olam is bringing you to the purpose. And Rabenu said, Borei Olam will not going to do something like that to me to take one of my people before of his time. Means before that he's going to complete his tikkun. So you need to know that for sure you have a guarantee. Rabenu, Rabenu that said that you should count on his power. That why we should be worried about something at all, anything, when He is walking in front of us. That He's opening the path for us, opening the doors for us. And you need to believe, each and every one of us have to believe that Hashem Itbarach is with us. That Holy Rabbeinu is walking with us. He's a righteous man that is with us every moment of our lives and we need to love Him. Like we just said about Eliyahu Navi and Elisha, his student. You have to love your Rabbi, you have to love him with all of your heart and to pray on him that everyone gonna know Rabbeinu HaKadosh, that all of the women gonna be there in Uman in the times of women, women flights. And in the time of Rosh Hashanah there's gonna be a huge kibbutz, that all of the men in Am Israel gonna come to the Tzion of Rabbeinu and gonna surrender, gonna accept on themselves the yoke of Torah Mitzvot. The burden of being Hasid Breslev, to do Sha'ait, but to do it every day, each and every one of us. That we're going to have that complete faith to listen to the voice of Chachamim that guides us in such straight paths and amazing ways that full with light, full with success, full with honor. That you're going to respect yourself, that you're going to be dignity, that you're going to appreciate yourself, that you're going to know that you're a daughter of the king. That the king loves you, that the king is expecting, waiting, when he's gonna see you, when he's gonna hear you talking, when he's gonna see you praying to him. He's waiting and listening and collecting every word and word, hoping when you're gonna do tshuva, when you're gonna talk to him like you're talking to your best friend. All of us, men and women, and especially women, all of us have to hold hands together and to walk toward Hashem with good intentions, good will, to know you have only one thing in your hands, it's your will. I want to serve Hashem. I want to listen to your voice Hashem. The success, it's in the hands of Hashem. If you're going to succeed or not in this world, it's all nonsense. The real success, the main success, the success of your life, it's to want. To want Hashem. I want to serve you Hashem in Barach. Even in my hard times. Even when I'm falling down. Even if you're breaking me to parts Hashem in Barach. I'm thanking you. And I want you to give me more strength and more powers. To serve you Hashem in Barach. And Misirut Nefesh. To know that it's all coming just from you. And for my own spiritual eternal gain. That I'm going to win. That I'm going to succeed. You love me Hashem. Thank you Hashem. Thank you. Thank you very much.